Welcome to the pavilions at in Phuket. It's uh, June 2012 and here's our room with lots of dangly things that you walk through. So here's the entrance to the room. It's uh, villa number 29. It's on the second level and there's the little sign that says don't disturb us and this one's like come and clean the room which they do twice a day. So here we go inside. And look what you see, there's Hamish. And there's a few Hola. and the water starts here as you're going to walk into the entrance. Swimming pool and a beautiful view. A little yellow floating thing, that's a little sala over there which is like a double bed and you've also got a couple of lounge beds. So we'll just take a walk over the steps. Hi, Amy. <laughs> and then you go in through the curtain into the lounge area and kitchen. It's the TV and the surround sound on the ceiling. It sounds amazing. So that's the entrance with the little kitchen. They even put brollies there for you just in case it rains. And there's your shoes all lined up. So we'll take a walk through here. It's a huge sofa. <laughs> Fresh flowers as you can see on the table there every day. And through massive double doors, excuse the ironing board. <laughs> through massive double doors and into the bedroom. Which looks incredible at night because the walls just go all sort of pink red. It's amazing. And of course it's a, a bed and they at night they turn down the bed and leave little messages saying for your dreams and little stories and they open all the little curtains. I'll do some more later. And there's the corner and as you and you're gonna see me now. You walk through here from the bedroom into a little area where they have a little bag for you to take to the beach and mirrors everywhere and that leads Hello. onto the bathroom which is incredible again black red and white it's gorgeous big black marble bathroom two sinks and a big rain shower in the corner there and the loo around there which you don't really want to see that um yeah it's really if i can just turn the angle it's Super high ceilings. And back through the little corridor to the bedroom. As you can see, if you leave the doors open, you can look straight out into the garden in the mornings and probably hear the pool noise. But you can also close the close the doors off if you want to, which are beautiful and mirrored as you can see and it completely blocks everything out from the other side. So continuing back there's the front door where we came in and there's the thing we've got another little door here which yeah so what have we got through through this door uh -huh. so through this door here we've got a, a courtyard beautiful Water feature and another door from the side from outside there. It's a separate entrance. And this leads into our very own spa, which is joined to our room. So you can see there's two tables there. Fantastic mas masseuse here as well. And that leads through the spa leads through into the back area where they get the spa ready. Just got a sink and some little cupboards and uh, a loo, another loo, and another cupboard here. And then in here is a another massive shower, but it's also a steam room. As you can see, you can sit on there. That's another rain shower and steam room. Let me go back out and back into the room. Go back through here. 
in the courtyard. She's really cute. And then back into the lounge area. And then back outside. And that's what we do pretty much every day. Doing Hamish. <laughs> Do a video. Yeah. And that's the view, and that takes you to. So we're going back out the door. There's another villa across the road. They're nice and spread out, very private. And it goes up to the top there where you pick up the buggy. Uh, but no, don't worry, you don't have to, there's only one more level there, but you don't have to take the buggy, because all you have to do right outside the room is press this button right here, and this comes to get you. It's so peaceful everywhere, and the sound of running water everywhere. And there you go. There you have it. Our room in Phuket.